Hi everyone and welcome to Desi Bites. Today I'm going to be making a grilled chicken breast with a cheese sauce. I have with me here chicken breast with on which I'm just going to make a few gashes with the knife and the same way on the other side. As you can see, this is going to help me get my marinade through to the meat which is a very simple marinade some olive oil so as you can see it's not really greasy just a decent amount of olive oil olive oil in i am going to add some garlic on this rub it nicely and wherever i can stuff it i'm just stuffing it with garlic this is done turning it around doing the same thing here as well the reason why I'm stuffing it inside the holes that I've made is so that the flavor of the garlic can go in through to the meat. Once I have done that, so basically it's like the chicken breast is studded with garlic cloves. It's where it's stuffed inside. Once that is done, basic seasoning with salt and on the other side as well. Having done that, now this is the final ingredient in the marinade some freshly cracked black pepper such a simple basic marinade and now some olive oil in the pan mixed with a little bit of butter so butter has heated i'm going to add the chicken breast to the pan turn it to the other side that is it now i'm going to put this aside and cook this later because now it's time to get on with my sauce so i'm just going to leave this aside for the sauce it's pretty simple pan this is a cheese sauce so we won't go the usual way of using butter flour and milk i'm just going to be very simple and direct because this is a one portion serving one grilled chicken breast so just some cream in a pan in it some salt some pepper and cheese mm. okay once that is done for about 7 to 8 minutes then i'm going to increase the heat and give it a nice color on both sides is ready guys the chicken breast is grilled nicely the garlic is beautifully charred and is ready for plating not to forget the crispy garlic and the butter and this cheese sauce is ready which is just a nice generous dollop of cream and cheese mixed together a bit of olive oil and some parmesan on top to we'll throw in some fresh parsley you can serve this with fresh bread so there you have it guys grilled chicken breast with a cheese sauce served with fresh bread a very simple and delicious meal make sure you try it at home and before i go i just want to tell you something don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to DC Bites and keep watching for more fun videos coming your way. Have a great new year. I will see you in another episode. Take care y'all. See you. Hi everyone and welcome to DC Bites. Today I'm going to be making a pizza toast but with chicken. made a vegetarian recipe the link is in the description so do check that out let's do this heat some oil in a pan slightly golden brown that's the color you want to go for now you'll add your shredded chicken the thing is you don't have to cook the chicken since it's already boiled but you just want to toss it with the garlic so it gets that flavor heat is on the lowest now i'm going to add the pizza sauce 
that's it and this is done now what i'm going to do is we slice the corners of the bread off because we don't need that so don't throw these away you can use these later for bread crumbs so we take a sauce with a chicken in it so to cover the corners sometimes you get pizza where the corners are just left dry and it's not nice i'm going to sprinkle my leftover seasoning on this a little bit not too much things already have salt in them a little bit of white pepper the best thing on the planet is cheese now i'm going to heat the oven to 150 but as soon as the cheese melts is when i take it out and now we wait patiently for this delicious pizza dough to get in our belly and this is ready we chop some fresh parsley and two drops of olive oil and your chicken pizza toast is ready Guys, make sure you try this easy recipe for a chicken pizza toast and don't forget to like, don't forget to comment and do not forget to subscribe to Desi Bites. I will see you in another fun episode with another easy recipe. Till then, you take care. See you. Hello everyone and welcome to Desi Bites. I am Chef Pranav Kapoor and today I'm going to be making for you guys Devil eggs the classic devil egg So for this what you need is a boiled egg I've already boiled my egg If you need help with boiling or if you don't know how to boil an egg please check I have added a link to my previous video where I have shown how to boil two kinds of eggs So that out of the way let's begin the recipe for devil egg What I'm going to do now is cut my egg into half just slice it carefully without destroying the outer layer okay and now to scoop out the yolk just be really gentle without breaking the outer membrane of the egg so to break the yolk first in this I'm going to add mayonnaise and do half a tablespoon for one egg add half a teaspoon of mustard and 1 teaspoon vinegar little bit of black pepper or white pepper in this case and now just mix this really well into a nice smooth paste like texture this is the consistency that you would want so your yolks have blended well with the mayo mustard and vinegar and scoop it where the yolks were And there you have it, your classic devil egg recipe. Very easy, simple to execute, and delicious to taste. Hope you like this video. Please don't forget to comment, like and subscribe to Desi Bites with me Chef Pranav. I will see you in another fun episode with another easy recipe. Till then, you all take care. See you. Hi everyone.
everyone and welcome to Desi Bites. Today is a Chinese day so we are going to be making some basic classic fried rice. First things first, pan, medium heat, put in some oil. So now in go in onions, chopped onions. Once the onions have turned pink, that's when you will add the garlic. So slightly brown the garlic, light brown color forming on it. Once that's done, throw in your chopped carrots, all your veggies basic. Chopped beans, chopped celery. Just add in a little bit of more oil. So you could either boil the vegetables and then add them or you can just fine chop it and add it. I didn't boil them so much nicer this way. Now I'm going to add basic seasoning to the vegetables which is my cracked black pepper. Use the heat a little bit. Salt and some sugar. To this I will add some vinegar and soy sauce. Once you've mixed all that, now I'm going to take some boiled rice. So the thing is when you boil the rice for fried rice, you don't have to cook it all the way through to make sure that when you break the grain of rice, the center bit is still white because when you toss it, it's going to cook perfectly. If you boil it properly and then you put it in for the fried rice, it's going to overcook. So we don't want that. So my fried rice, is done and now I'm just going to plate, put it in the bowl. Your fried rice is done. So thank you for watching, do not forget to like, subscribe and comment and see you in another fun episode with another easy recipe. Hello everyone and welcome to Desi Bites. I am Chef Pranav Kapoor and today I am going to be making a sunny side up, a half fried egg or a half done as it's known in different countries. First, I have a flat pan. I'm using olive oil because it's tastier and healthier. It's good for the heart. I'm just going to grease the pan with oil so that if the egg goes in any corner, it does not stick to the pan. And you can be generous with olive oil. It's only going to do you good. Set the pan on medium heat. You know, the oil will sometimes tilt to the side depending on the curvature of the pan, but make sure you grease it entirely because the egg will be all over the pan. The way I like to cook a sunny side up is keep it on very, uh, not very low, between low and medium heat so that the white is still nice and soft and doesn't really get very hard. And love a greasy fried egg. Keep dropping little bits of olive oil on it. So this is done. You can let it go as crispy as you want from below. I don't like it really brown. I like it to be a little softer. So this is the sunny side up that I like. Let me just show you, as you can see. Very lightly brown, not too much of uh, it being crispy or being fried underneath. The yolk, nice and runny. So I'm just going to like plate up this and it's the perfect breakfast, the way I would like it.
so try this at home and don't forget to like comment and subscribe to desi bites with me chef pranav i will see you in another episode with another fun and easy recipe till then you take care see you hi everyone what's up welcome to desi bites for all you seafood lovers out there today is going to be a really interesting episode because we are making prawn masala we're going to heat oil in the pan now i'm going to add chopped onions toss them around till they turn slightly pink when i'm going to add chopped garlic to the pan so once the garlic is slightly brown we're going to add of turmeric some red chili powder and some rai we we'll add a little bit of oil to this Once that is done, then I'm going to add the prawns. Coat them nicely with the onion and the garlic. Prawns won't take really long to cook, so halfway through it will take about seven minutes, from anywhere between five to seven min minutes, depending on the heat. So I'm going to add the salt right now itself. some cracked black pepper Don't keep cooking them too long because that will overcook the prawns and they would taste a bit rubbery and that would not be nice at all Little coriander on top since this is prawn masala and then last and favorite ingredient for this dish some lime juice Thank you so much for watching guys hope you enjoyed this simple yet delicious recipe do not forget to try it like i always say hit like subscribe and don't forget to comment in the comment section below i will see you in another episode till then you guys better take care what's up guys how you all doing welcome to desi bites today i'm going to be making you something from leftovers that i had First things first, pan and some butter inside it. Once the butter has melted, add in the chopped garlic. This is a very simple recipe and a very very classic combination. There's butter, there's sage, there's chicken, there's parmesan, and there's some cream. So now that your garlic has toasted nicely, I'm going to add in the chicken and put in some more butter. Add a little bit of white wine. Once that is gone in, I'm going to throw in some cream. So once the cream is in, I'm going to throw in some sage. Salt. Some cracked black pepper. Parmesan cheese, and we are ready to serve this. I'm just going to quickly toast some bread in the same pan. 
You can never have enough of Papadha. And there you have it. See what I've done with leftovers. That's what you can do if you have leftovers. Just combine a couple of ingredients. You can make something nice. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment to Daisy Bites. I will see you in another episode. Take care y'all. See you later. Bye. Hi everybody and welcome to Desi Bites. Since the festive season is on, I have some very easy desserts for you to make at home. This is called the Frozen Alaska. Now, first you get a bowl. Take some uh, vanilla ice cream. Then some condensed milk. This is a very rich dessert as you can see. Just mix that together. Then I'm going to add Oreo cookies. I've got the chocolate flavor. So I've crushed them from one side. You can use a cream flavored ones. I'm just using the chocolate ones because the store didn't have any cream flavored. You can always add some more. So I'm a little generous with my Oreo. Once you've got this done, Take a fancy glass for your mixture in this fancy glass. Now to top this off, I'm going to crush some walnut. Let them, you know, sink inside. And now in the freezer to set and your dessert is ready. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that simple recipe and do try this at home because it is very tasty. And uh, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe and do not forget to comment on Desi Bites. I will see you in another fun episode. Till then, you take care. See you. Hi everyone and welcome to Desi Bites. Today I'm going to be making a pizza toast out of leftovers. We use bread, we use packaged pizza sauce, we have leftover seasoning, some cheese and just a little bit of herb for your hangover basically. So let's get started. Put some oil in the pan. Toss our garlic. Lightly brown the garlic. And then we'll add our pizza sauce. Slightly toss it with the garlic and then you just switch off the heat. Leave this here. Now let's get to the bread. So what we'll do is we'll cut off the sides. You could use these for breadcrumbs later on. Spread this out. It's a nice, easy and delicious recipe for those times when you're lazy and you don't really want to cook. So, before goes the cheese slice, use the seasoning. And a little bit of white pepper. Just 
use cheese slices because it's easier for this to melt in the oven. If you usually like grate cheese and do it, it'll take longer. But if you use this, it'll be quicker. So I'm going to pre, I'm going to put the oven to about 150. I'm going to put it for 10, but I will take it out as soon as the cheese melts. So the cheese has melted. So I'm going to take this out now. And let's cut into a pizza toast. Yeah, look at all that cheese. So I'm just going to chop some fresh parsley to put this on top. Nothing is complete without a little bit of olive oil. The pizza toast is served. Perfect food. When you're lazy and you want to eat a pizza, you don't want to order food, this is what you should be making. So guys, do not forget to subscribe, do not forget to like, and do not forget to comment in the comment section below. I will see you in another fun episode with another easy recipe. Till then, you take care. See you. Hi everyone and welcome to Desi Bites. I am Chef Tanav Kapoor and I am going to be doing the basic scrambled egg today for all of you. I am going to make this with 3 eggs. A classic basic scrambled egg. My three eggs have gone in. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to add some fresh cream. So you can add cream or if you have full creamed milk, you can add some of that. For three eggs, I've used about 60 ml of cream. And now some salt. So we'll whisk all this together. Again, clockwise motion. So now I'm going to heat the pan and I'm going to add butter to the pan. Spread it around evenly and as soon as the butter melts, just pour in the eggs mixture. So first what you do is, 20 seconds you let the mixture sit. Increase the heat slightly, 20 seconds in, we start folding the eggs with the butter. If your eggs are cooking too quickly, just reduce the heat a little bit. You do not want to overcook these eggs because they are supposed to be runny. And then you fold again and then you let it rest. Runny scrambled eggs will cook really quickly. If you go any further, they'll start sticking together and it won't have a nice texture to it. Here it is, a scrambled egg. This is what the cream does to a scrambled egg. Makes it nice and rich. Now I'm going to season it with some white pepper. Just a slight bit of salt again on the top.
Hope you like this recipe. Please do try it at home. And do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe to Desi Bites with me, Chef Pranav. I will see you in another fun episode. Till then, you have a good day. See you.